here with Bobby Van Allen, head coach of the men's and women's cross country teams at Johns Hopkins. Uh, so we'll start off with um, the men. You got a pretty strong uh, junior class, names like Emmanuel Lund, uh, Connor Oiler, Matt Kelly. So what do you, have you seen from those guys as they kind of transition to upperclassmen and leaders heading into the year? Yeah, I think uh, it was just clear that they put in the work over the summer. Um, they've got high goals. They came in here and uh, certainly leading this team to get some uh, the job done. Yeah, got a couple uh, grad transfers coming in as well. Um, so what have you seen from them, um, again, in terms of leadership, just kind of leading um, uh, a relatively young team? Right. So, I mean, Lucas Rackers come in, just kind of let, let our time trial, certainly I think just kind of like uh, wants to come in here and, you know, make his little stamp on there. Aiden Tovmov uh, um, really has kind of shown he's got a little more versatility than maybe what I had given credit for. Um, was, uh, you know, more of an 800, 1500 guy um, undergrad and just maybe we got a little more uh, depth that he's going to contribute to the cross country squad as well. Cool. And then this is pretty highly touted uh, freshman class that you've been talking about. So, again, yes. what have you seen from, from the younger guys? Um, well, certainly, I mean, Olaf and Brady are, are just, like, guys that are just coming in here going to, like, certainly put a stamp on the national level. Um, but it's it, we still got to be patient with them. Um, and I think that's the true for anybody, especially when you're trying to get up to 8K, which uh, we'll find out this weekend. But those guys uh, are, are ready to roll, but the rest of the guys are all kind of like feeding off one another, and it's going to be, yes, it's certainly an amazing freshman class I'm excited to work with for four years. Yeah, so you mentioned the AK, obviously new for some of the younger guys, right. um, but a lot of the guys on your team are familiar with it. Um, so in heading into this first meet, what's kind of the expectation or goal early in the year? Yeah, this is just, I mean, this is we're not <laughs> changing up training or anything, kind of preparing for this first meet. We just want to see where everybody's at on a longer distance. The time trial was able to, you know, kind of give us a little snapshot of kind of where we are in a, a short distance. But, uh, you know, we're, we're still, we're going to run a little conservative this, this first meet, just kind of work on, like, getting the team to, like, you know, go through the motions of what we need to do, meet days, warm-ups, like, certainly we are going to be in some big packs during this first meet and just start trying to work like the last 25% of the meet, so uh, the race. So just excited to kind of see where we are as a fresh start. Yeah, and then uh, a lot of similar races on the schedule as, you know, years in the past, including the Paul Short Invitational, which is obviously a big meet, um, including some Division One competitions. So what's kind of your thought process in having a meet like that consistently on your schedule? Yeah, I mean, it's actually the 50th anniversary of that meet this year. Maybe it's 75th. It's an anniversary year, um, but it's a big deal. I think they got about 150 colleges coming. And for, for us to always have that opportunity to, to one, like travel to a meet that competitive just two hours away, like that's going to be like just an, an easy opportunity for us. But they, they, they split that into like this year, there's going to be four different college races. And we're just really grateful for like the staff at Lehigh for being able to understand where we are as a program and to give us that opportunity to run in the gold race, um, to run against those top division, you know, one teams. And, uh, you know, it's uh, certainly something we're really excited for for this year.